Hello beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel Hummingbird Tarot. Um, today I'm going to be channeling a message for you guys from Spirit for your February 2022 forecast. Um, if you like my video please like subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you can get my monthly tarot readings. Um, I also do pick cards and um, other channeled messages from Spirit. I'm Claire Audient so I do is um, do musical readings as well that go along with these at, at times. Um, so today I picked a reading, a chakra reading card to show where you are headed and what is needed for February 2022 to really help you um, in your endeavors for February. Um, this is possibly a place where you're blocked or what you can work on to make things smoother for you as February unfolds. Okay, so I picked this card for you already um, because I had started your video a little earlier and then got disrupted. So I wanted to keep that because I felt it was really a powerful card for you guys. And um, that's grounding. And that's the number four. If that's relevant for you, I would look up number four, but four is about stability. And grounding is um, a way to achieve that um, by going out in nature, grounding yourself in in nature, um, you know, stretching your hips and doing yoga to open up your hips is a great way to ground. This is associated with the Earth Star Chakra, which isn't really talked about very often, but it's about six inches below the root chakra, you know, energetically. And um, garnet, red garnet, is also the stone for this Earth Star Chakra. So it might be something you want to carry around to help remind you to ground yourself, you know, when things get, um, when you're not feeling grounded. Um, so really important for you guys. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot now to see what other clarifications that we can get for you for this February. And possibly what needs grounding in your life. Okay. Spirit, can you guide us for what Capricorn needs for February 2022 to hear from you? So these coming out together, I'm going to go ahead and start with these and then move this beautiful card over here. Your grounding card. Let's see what the story is for you guys. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles is, um, she has the ability to make anything beautiful. Her space, her surroundings, everything in her life. Um, she has a love for family and home. She's practical. Um, also, she has a sensible approach. This rabbit is a representative of her fears and anxiety, and she proudly displays that rabbit in front of the throne there. And it's to say that, you know, she's been through this, she's conquered this, and she's ready to move forward without fear, without anxiety, and to be her true authentic self. Um, possibly with the Seven of Cups here as well, um, Spirit is saying to stop procrastinating or over, over analyzing something in your life and to make a choice and uh, to move, to move you forward, um, get clarity on what you desire, um, and possible minor addictions that could be holding you back, um, like about surrounded around food alcohol. I don't think it's a, I don't sense this as being a serious addiction, although all, all addictions are difficult. Let's see what else Spirit has for us, for my beautiful Capricorns. Okay, and then you have the Two of Pentacles. So yes, um, you're working hard. You've got a lot going on, perhaps, multiple jobs multiple projects, things need to come into balance for you. Um, 
I think these things here to come into that queen of cups energy, which is a very powerful energy and in finances as well. I'm seeing abundance for you guys, tons of abundance. Um, but maybe this balancing and these choices that you feel like you can't make, um, you're going to have a lot of benefits from doing this grounding work, um, meditate, meditating in nature. You know, when you're starting to feel a little bit unhinged about this or anxiety, because the Queen of Cups has come out of that anxiety. When you start feeling that way, you just get out in nature. Go ground yourself. Go um, be in the present moment with nature. Take notice of things around you, the sounds in nature. Um, look up in the sky. Spirit has messages there for you in nature. Spirit, what else can you give us? Oh, yes. You know... Like I said, I started your reading a little earlier, but then got disrupted. And the Ten of Cups did come out. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles did come out for you. Um, and under the Queen of Pentacles, you have so much going on. Um, financial security, um, financial success. If that's not coming, if this is not your life right now, this is coming to you when you can move past this energy of... Um, not being balanced, um, having some procrastination issues. Um, you know, you have a lot is being offered to you here. You have a lot of different choices and I'm feeling this in this card as well. Um, but spirit is saying, trust your heart, trust your intuition because your true passion is giving you, going to give you so much success. You're going to have success within your being as a person and feeling financially secure to the point where you can just beautify your life. And this is, you're going to have financial security for yourself, for your family. You're going to be leaving a legacy here. Um, you, if it's in money or with the things that you're putting out into the world, this legacy is going to come forward through to your family and your children. A lot of happiness, too, I'm feeling for you guys. Because I did say the Ten of Cups there for a minute. But I am sensing that very joyful um, energy coming from you. So this one came out first. So, yes, Two of Cups. Um, falling in love or resurgence of a romantic relationship. Um, forgiveness. The end of challenges. Um... Don't give up on the people who love you. So focusing on the people who love you right now. Uh, and then you have the nine of cups as well. So wish, wishes are coming true for you. And, and so much abundance is coming forward for you. So whenever you just get into this stuck energy here that I'm seeing, you are going to you are going to manifest all these amazing things. You're going to have wealth. You're going to have good emotional connections with people and yourself. You know, if you've been having some anxiety or fears or not trusting in your intuition, this is coming to an end. You are learning to love yourself. And by loving yourself, you're going to bring in all these beautiful new connections into your life love connections, friendships, um, whatever that is for you guys, this is happening for you. Um, because wishes are coming true. Like I said, I was feeling so much happiness and joy in this reading. Um, you've got pentacles and cups. So financial security, emotional security, wishes, your dreams becoming reality. Um, good fortune, faith in the universe that will all will be well. Um, just spirit is saying all you have to do is go out in nature when you're feeling insecure when you're feeling you know like you're not grounded or centered or balanced go out in nature and find yourself there because spirit is waiting for you has spirit is going to give you messages out in nature and um fulfill you and make you feel grounded and centered and that's all you really need you've come so far in your journey here um you are doing so well any other 
tarot messages. Aha, one more. One more for my beautiful Capricorns. I just feel like saying congratulations, you know? Um, also, we have the Seven of Wands. So stand up for yourself. Stand up for your beliefs. Have confidence. Um, challenge those that are in power or are trying to manipulate you or make you do things that you know you know aren't what you need so challenge that and make sure you choose your battles wisely because in your chart I am seeing that you know maybe some family issues have stemmed from the the uh, stemmed for you through the, the holiday season where you're kind of just like too much with your family, you know, you, you feel a little bit restricted in that. Um, Spirit is saying, you know, go out, go in, out in nature again. I'm going to say this so important. Um, go out and ground yourself, give everybody space, give yourself space. Um, Choose your battles wisely. Don't get involved in petty dramas or anything that's going to you know, put you off balance right now. Because you are, there's so much beauty coming to you in your, like I said, your finances and your emotion, emotional relationships. Um, just don't let that throw you off. So this is a little bit of a warning Stand up for yourself, but don't get involved in petty, dram dramatic situations with people that don't really mean anything at the end of the day. Um, okay, so that's a great way to end it. You have the power, the passion to manifest your dreams. And with these oracle cards here, you've got speed and movement. So this is happening quickly in your life. The more you get out and ground yourself, the faster this stuff will come to you. If you're already in this energy, remember, the grounding is a huge piece for you. I'm also going to pull another or um, chakra wisdom card for you to also, you know, confirm or get something else that would be beneficial for you for this February. The choices that you're making right now at the end of the month, too, um, you have a, a really an epiphany that's going to be coming to you like after the 18th, after the full moon sometime. You're going to have this epiphany that's going to really set you in motion. And with this, move, with this movement and speed card, the number six is your number. This is going to be happening and it's going to lead to so much, one, so many wonderful things um, coming to you for this year of 2022. This is a big year of change for so many people. Spirit, do we have another elemental card for Capricorns today? Ah, yes. And that's what I was saying. Passion. You have this ignition of fire within your belly that is coming into fruition right before your very eyes you see she's got this magic this fire she's she's lit the fire so coming out over the seven of cups here i'm feeling like you just need to pick that one thing and this is the number eight that one thing that you're passionate about even if people have been saying, well, I don't know about that. That's not going to really work. And it doesn't, I don't see how you can make money doing that. This is what spirit is calling you to do. Your passion, light that fire within yourself and do the thing that you know you're called to. You're called to it for a reason. Pick it. Don't procrastinate. Don't let others tell you, give you fear and anxiety about it succeeding because spirit is saying that it will and it's going to be happening fast once you make that decision. Any other cards for Capricorn on that passion, that fire that's being lit within them? Okay, I'm going to move on. Sarah didn't give us any other cards for that. So let's see the other chakra wisdom card what else do, do our beautiful capricorns need to work on 
for the month of February to move them forward in their success. Okay, you got two cards here. We have rejection and perfection. So this is the crown chakra here, and this is correlated to the root chakra. Okay, so you've got this dynamic going on where we've got below the root chakra, the root chakra and the crown chakra. So like I said, I'm feeling like people have been telling you that your passion is going to get rejected in the world. And look, these people are all whispering negative things to him. And maybe even you've been whispering this to yourself, this ne negative self-talk. Don't let it affect you. You move forward with what you are passionate about and you're going to have huge success. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You are going to have huge success. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs because rejection is not coming to you. This is just what the, the fears that are surrounding you, pursuing your passion. Maybe you're in your own head and people around you telling you that this isn't worth your while. Do not listen to them. Trust yourself. Trust your passion because it, this is what spirit wants us to do in our lives. All of us as a collective is tap into our passion and start doing it because this is going to change the world. This is changing the world one person at a time and you are not going to be rejected. And perfectionism this is another, she's like whispering into her ear, this little woman here, this is her little angel on her shoulder, telling her to speak her truth and be her true authentic self. Um, but with this base chakra, it does not have to come from a place of perfection. Those little baby steps that we take are gonna lead us there, but it doesn't have to be perfect at first. Just take those baby steps and the perfection will come later once you start to learn more. And in your chart as well, Capricorns, I am seeing that um, the end of the month, like around um, from the 18th to the end of the month, you're going to be open and perceptive to learning more about your craft, to learn more about... Um, the things that surround your craft to get it out, like working on the computer, um, setting up a website, um, you know, getting involved in social media and getting your business out on social media. Um, these things, you're going to be very perceptive to learning and things are going to come easy to you at the end of the month when it comes to this. So don't, like I said, don't worry about perfection. It's all about learning. Perfection will come, but don't wait for perfection to come to you. Um, before you start, you know, start now. Spirit is saying this is fast coming, fast moving energy. From the beginning, you're going to have a transformation to the end of February. So, and then this is going to carry you through for the rest of the year and perhaps beyond. The decisions that you're making here and the actions that you're taking now are going to move you quickly. All right. So, do that. Don't listen to these people here or anything negative in your head. Get out and ground yourself. Step away from petty battles and only engage and use your energy if it's really super important. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing a little love oracle, lover's oracle cards for you guys. This could be about love in your life. I know because this is February, we've got... Um, we have Valentine's Day and a lot of focus on love. But these cards, if you're not interested in love, are also about self-healing and um, how to work in our relationships with others better too. So there's a lot of wisdom in these cards. I just love them and the artwork is so beautiful. Whoa, I'm losing control. These hearts, oh, these cards are a little bit hard to control. Okay. Any other cards for Capricorns for love, self-love, emotional security and happiness with others? Okay, 
I'm feeling this the two of these for you guys. So there is a sacred union coming to you. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So if you're in a current relationship and you haven't been noticing how sacred your relationship is, you are this you are in a sacred union right now and um, maybe you haven't noticed it and um, this pandemic and staying in has been a real trying time for relationships right now but it's getting to the heart of the matter and getting to the heart of your union um, about if you are truly the right people to be together at this time um, if you weather the storm and you're still together this is sacred and this is the reason why because you were able to weather that storm of being constantly together under pressures um, of today and what's going on with the pandemic and everything else that's been going on that's been so stressful you are in a sacred union honor and treasure it okay and then I'm feeling this grounding energy from this image here and that she's like hugging the tree and getting energy from nature Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. This is true. And when we are struggling, we, we don't, we're not able to see the joy uh, and be grateful for the beautiful things that are already in our lives. To help to focus on that even in the darkest of times, to focus on the beauty and joy that we all have in our lives um, is a way to help get yourself out of that negative, um, hurtful place that we can be in sometimes. So Spirit is saying here, be grateful for the beautiful things that you have in your life. If you're not in a relationship now, there is a sacred union coming to you. Um, but you need to feel joy and be grateful in the present moment, um, regardless of your circumstance, to open this up for you. Because I do see so much beauty, family, your own family, a chosen family, emotional, beautiful connections coming to you, and wishes coming true. Um, so reject, reject any Anybody telling you that you can't do what you want to do in, in your creative um, pro and professional um, circumstance because you can. Spirit wants you to connect to that. Um, and when you're feeling in that scattered energy or feeling doubt, get out and ground yourself. It's so important. If you don't know about how to ground yourself, um, I would check that out. Um, just Google about it, learn all you can about it, and start doing this for you because this is going to be so beneficial for your soul um, and for in your life in general. Okay, so this is all I am seeing for you, my beautiful Capricorns, wishing you a happy and beautiful new moon. And I'll see you next month um, when I do your next reading. I can't wait to see how you are doing. So please comment if you feel really connected and want to like fill me in on anything. That would be so amazing. Okay, bye-bye.